But let's talk about Elemental. Uh, I, I guess that it was going to make $28 million. It came in with $29.5 million, which I am a little curious about what is happening with like the Hollywood Reporter and Variety. If you go and read any of their articles about um, the box office this weekend, I don't know if it's just because they're using puns for The Flash, but they're really making it seem like Elemental is the big flop and The Flash isn't which is insane to me because we all know the budget with the flash was so much more uh, than elemental. And I think elemental will have at least like, uh, you know, percentage wise, I think it's going to have better legs going into the summer uh, than the flash. I think the flash's legs aren't going to go that fast (laughs) and it's going to, he's going to trip once more. Uh, But elemental will stick around for a little bit. But it is interesting to see how some of these uh, companies are choosing to really lift up Warner Brothers and like try to like help them, you know, like like almost like Warner Brothers is like, you know, like a hurt child. And they're trying to, you know, let's go find your mom. <laughs> like Let's let's go find your dad guy. And uh, it's it's going to be OK. But then uh, Elemental sitting right there in the same kind of situation. And they're just like, oh, that guy. <laughs> Uh, who's going to help that kid? It's it's basically like that <laughs> because Elemental, like it, it, it's in as bad a situation as The Flash, uh, but I think it has a slightly better hope for maybe getting a little bit better. But it's it's a failure as well. But they're they're really touting like Elemental as like the big failure. Now here's the difference though. Go and look up the Rotten Tomatoes. And again, Rotten Tomatoes isn't everything. But if you look up the Rotten Tomatoes score, there's quite a bit of a difference between these movies. And uh, ever since I talked about the initial ones, Elemental went up. Uh, My wife uh, went and took one of my sons to go and see it this weekend. And she told me, I need to go. I need to go and see this movie. I didn't want to see this movie. I talked about that a bunch. Uh, I thought the trailers were awful. And it looked like an in-your-face like, this is what you need to think about ethnicities and, uh, you know, uh, different social justice stuff. And and I was like, I, I don't want that. I don't want that from a cartoon. Apparently, my wife said it's awesome. She said it's fantastic and it's super moving and powerful. And uh, my wife is pretty good when it comes to movies. And so I'm thinking I probably have to go and see this thing. So we might be wrong, or at least the general audiences for not going and seeing this Pixar movie. We might be wrong about that. I need to, I might be wrong about that. I need to go and see this movie, but it is a failure. Now, uh, they're going to compare it to the good dinosaur. They're going to compare it to uh light year. They're going to compare it to, uh, some of these movies that I think the lowest that it made, there's two that are around 39 million. And so if you're looking at that and you're looking at Elemental, there's quite a bit of a difference there. So this is a huge problem. Now, with that, uh, there was a story that went out uh, from uh, Pete Docter. He did an interview talking about Elemental and some of the issues uh, with uh, reviews. And I thought it was pretty interesting because Elemental, like that initial Rotten Tomato score hit them hard. I mean, it was rotten. It was like 56% when I did a video about it. And I think it dipped a little bit lower than that. And then it took off after. But they premiered this movie at Cannes. And he was asked about it in uh, Variety. And uh, this is what he had to say. Uh, He said, then the embargo lifted and some of the reviews were pretty nasty. So he talked about like the the applause that they got when they showed the movie. And it was a seven-minute standing ovation, which... I don't care how many minutes there's a standing ovation. People do a lot of stuff because they feel, you know, pressure. Peer pressure isn't just in high school, okay? Uh, but then he said, like, there was so much positivity about, like, how, ma- uh, how many people loved it with the ovation. Then the embargo lifted, and some of the reviews were pretty nasty. I guess there are probably a lot of reasons for that. This is our 27th film. For some reason, we seem to be critiqued not only based on other movies, but on our own stuff. So people will say, oh, it's not as good as uh, my favorite Pixar film, whatever that is. On one hand, that's flattering, and it's also a kind of tough position to be in and very tricky. 
Now, for me, I have to agree with Pete Doctor there. Now, Pete Doctor being like the main guy over there at Pixar, and he's directed some of Pixar's greatest movies, a creative genius. Um, I think he's talking about me. <laughs> Like, like I compared the trailers uh, for for this movie against other Pixar movies, and because of that, I th I felt like the quality dropped off quite a bit. Now, apparently, he's saying that happened also with the reviewers that they they went you know at Cannes or maybe after, and they saw this movie and they compared it to past Pixar movies. And if you look at the past Pixar movies, these are some of the best movies ever made. You know, we're talking about, you know, Up and Wally -E and Toy Stories and like all of that. And, you know, more, I guess, are coming on that. We're not we don't have time to talk about the Toy Story 5 stuff. But apparently Buzz and Woody are coming back again. Both of them. I don't know how many times we got to say goodbye to these guys, but apparently we're going to do it one more time. Um, <laughs> but he's saying like we we compare it to those movies and that's kind of unfair. You should be comparing it to other movies, not just their movies, but other movies. And I think that's that's actually a fair point to make, because I know for myself, I compare Pixar movies to other Pixar movies, and I need to be thinking about other animated movies. Now, as a dad of three sons, three young boys, we watch a lot of animated movies. And I got to say, some of them suck. <laughs> They're real bad. Now, some of them are great. Puss in Boots, Last Wish, whoo, was not expecting that one, but what a great film. Uh, but a lot of the other movies are just trash. And so when you compare Pixar movies to the landscape of all animated films, I think there's a big difference that you would make critiquing Pixar compared to just looking at Pixar itself and kind of critiquing it within its own company. Uh, and I do think that there's a fair point in doing that. I, you know, we all want to know what are our favorite Pixar movies, uh, our favorite DC movies, our favorite Marvel movies. And we use that as a barometer to kind of figure out, is this movie good or not? But that's you and me. I'm not a movie critic. I like movies and I think about movies critically, <laughs> but at the same time, I haven't been trained to be a movie critic. I don't know. Like when, like the moment a plot, like a storyline is dropped, like I can figure it out most of the time later on, but I don't know the exact moment. I'm not a movie critic. I'm just a person that loves movies. And so I think for the movie critics, they should be held to a little bit of a higher standard as far as how they're thinking about movies and, you know, what's the scope that they're taking it in to kind of figure out you know, where does this stand? Is this a good movie or a bad movie? So Pete Doctor is obviously doing some PR for, for Pixar right now, trying to cover their butts because they did have an epic failure with this movie. Like, and make no mistake about it. Doesn't matter how, how, uh, like how much money this movie is going to make later on. Like the percentages are going to keep on dropping. And this movie is a failure. The Flash is a failure. A lot of the movies that have come out the last month are going to be looked at as a... Hey, thanks for checking out this clip from the Daily Reel, my Monday through Thursday live YouTube show about movie news and all that kind of stuff. Uh, things about Batman and explosions and Batman and explosions. And if you like that kind of thing, think about subscribing. Anyways, uh, YouTube has another video over here that they think you'd enjoy. So maybe check that out and I will see you in the next one.